Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to the Armstrong School District Board of Directors regular meeting for Monday, February 11th, 2019. Won't you please rise with me for a moment of reflection, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. And now the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call. Mr. Burdell. Ms. Bowser. Here. <coughs> Mr. Johnson. Here. Mr. Elkin. Here. Ms. Lote. Dr. Lobby. Here. Mr. Mulroy. Here. Mr. Skate. Here. Mr. Smith. Here. The Board of School Directors of Armstrong School District convened an executive session on Monday, February 11th at 7 o'clock p.m. in the faculty lounge of West Hills Intermediate School in Katani for discussion of personnel. Thank you. Uh, reports. Anything from the administration? We have an Aaron report or a Lenape. Was in there. You were too. Where were you? Uh, we're starting on budget next Thursday. So other than that, okay. Aaron, I don't know who's. That's Sam. Or Stan. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, <coughs> at this time, we'll take public comments on any agenda items. Anybody wants any comments? They go to the podium and state your name and address. Um, okay, um, at this time we had a formal request to speak at the meeting this evening. Uh, Mr. Joe Kilheim. Kilmeyer. If you would just like to go to the podium and state your name and address. Thank you. Uh, my name is uh, Joseph Kilmeyer. I live at uh, 215 Chestnut Street in Catanic. And I want to go ahead and thank the board for letting me have this opportunity to speak before you. Uh, there's a couple things that I would like to uh, talk about. Uh, one of them being the land bank that the uh, county is now in the process of developing. And I know you've had some talk about that. Uh, the other one is the development of the, uh, the former junior high property in Catania. But if I may right now, I'd like to start out with, uh, I have a, a couple uh, uh, some data from the Southwest Region or Southwestern mm -hmm. Pennsylvania Commission on population, housing, things like that. Just a couple things. Uh, I'll start with owner-occupied owner housing in, in the county. They compared the county and Catanic Borough. <coughs> in the county, 75% uh, of the housing is owner-occupied. Catanic Borough, uh, uh, it is 39%. Uh, renter occupied housing, 24% in the uh, county, and the uh, Catanic Borough, 61%. Now, those are from 2010. So, nine years later now, I don't think it's gotten any better. It's just my opinion. Uh, uh, fam all families below are at, at poverty level. Uh, the county is 9.7%, Catanic is 16.4%. Uh, all persons, the county is 13%. Catanning Borough is 25.5 percent. Uh, household earnings, earnings below $25,000. The county is 25 percent. The Borough of Catanning is 45 percent. Uh, median value of owner-occupied housing. Uh, the county, $98,600. The Borough of Catanning, $61,000. This is something that I found very interesting. You can see what's going on. And uh, the county has proposed the intergovernmental agreement between municipalities, also known as the Land Bank. Uh, as of today, Catanning Borough, Ford City, East Franklin, and Apollo School District have signed on with the county with regards to the uh, Land Bank, with Apollo is expected to sign soon. Uh, Catanning Borough ranked among the highest the criteria used to collect select land bank candidates. The blight issue in the, in the borough of Catanning has created significant challenges and many landlord issues. 
Uh, with a population of about 4,000 residents, Standing Boro is home to three subsidized high-rises and two subsidized family housing units, which doesn't include single-family homes rented through the HUD program. With 61% of the housing units renter occupied, I don't know how to get that number, but my guess is it's pretty high in the town. And I understand that the developer has applied through the Pennsylvania Housing Finance Agency for a low-income housing tax credit. If you look at the data and what's going on in Catanning, I don't think this is something that Catanning needs. And I just wanted to pass that on to you, and I hope you'll give it some thought, and thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. <clears throat> Okay, so uh, we'll look to approve the, look for a motion and a second to combine and approve the minutes for the open caucus session for January 10th, as well as the regular meeting for January 14th. We'll have a motion and a second. So Mr. Mulroy, second. Dr. Lobby, uh, any discussion? Roll call. Mr. Chonsick. Yes. Mr. Alkin. Yes. Dr. Lobby. Yes. Mr. Mulroy. Yes. Mr. Scaife. Yes. Mr. Smith. Yes. Ms. Bowser. Yes. Number voting yes, seven. Number voting no, zero. Two absent. Motion carries. Uh, look, a motion to combine and, combine and approve the uh, the bills for the Food Service Fund for January, Capital Projects Fund for January, Athletic Fund for December, and a presentation of bills for payment in January. Do I have a motion and a second? Mr. Elkin. Uh, Mr. Mulroy, any questions, comments? Roll call. Mr. Elkin. Yes. Dr. Lobby. Yes. Mr. Mulroy. Yes. Mr. Skate. Yes. Mr. Smith. Yes. Ms. Bowser. Yes. Mr. Chauncey. Yes. Number voting yes, seven. Number voting no, zero. Two absent. Motion carries. Uh, personnel, uh, 17 items except for those indicated for information only. I'd like to combine and approve all personnel items. Um, I have a motion and a second to, to combine. Dr. Lobby? Second. Ms. Bowser? Roll call. Dr. Lobby? Yes. Mr. Mulroy? Yes. Mr. Skate? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. Ms. Bowser? Yes. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Mr. Elkin? Yes. Number voting yes, seven. Number voting no, zero. Two absent. Motion carries. Uh, education, there are four items. We discussed a few of these on Thursday. I uh, still would like to make a motion, or look for a motion and a second to come on and approve Ed 1 through Ed 4. Mr. Elkin, of a second. Mr. Scaife, any discussion about that, any of those items or the administration want to? No, we have no further comment. We, got to, uh, we did put some follow-up information in the info folder for Ed 4 regarding extended school year. Okay. Any other questions or comments? Roll call. Mr. Mulroy? Yes. Mr. Scave? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. Ms. Bowser? Yes. Mr. Chauncey? Yes. Mr. Elkin? Yes. Dr. Lobby? Yes. Number voting yes, seven. Number voting no, zero. Two absent. Motion carries. One item under bu business, bid budget transfer re report for January 2019. Do I have a motion and a second to approve? Dr. Lobby? Second? So moved. Mr. Mulroy? Any discussion? Roll call. Mr. Scaife? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. Ms. Bowser? Yes. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Mr. Elkin? Yes. Dr. Lobby? Yes. Mr. Mulroy? Yes. Number voting yes, seven. Number voting no, zero. Two absent. Motion carries. Maintenance. M1 is Sunday usage for the AHS gymnasium, and M2 is a feasibility study for a new athletic field house at West Shamokin High School. I look for a motion to combine and approve M1 and M2. Mr. Mulroy? Mr. Elkin? Any discussion? from board members on any of those, on either of those. Concerning okay. M1, as in the past, I think Sunday usage of, a host, of a, our facilities uh, isn't exactly right, and uh, I think Sunday's better used for what it was originally designed for, so I'll be voting no. Thank you. Any other comments? Roll call. Mr. Smith? No on M1, yes on M2. Ms. Bowser? Yes. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Mr. Elkin? Yes. Dr. Lobby? Yes. Mr. Mulroy? Yes. Mr. Scaife? Yes. M1, number voting yes, six, number voting no, one, two absent, motion carries. M2, number voting yes, seven, number voting no, zero, two absent, motion carries. Uh, student transportation services, one item, the approval of bus drivers for 2018-19. Do I have a motion and a second to approve? Mr. Mulroy? Second. Ms. Bowser? Any discussion? 
Roll call. Ms. Bowser? Yes. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Mr. Elkin? Yes. Dr. Lobby? Yes. Mr. Marlroy? Yes. Mr. Skate? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. Number voting yes, seven. Number voting no, zero. Two absent. Motion carries. Five items under policy, of which uh, were highlighted by the solicitor on Thursday. I look for a motion and a second to combine and approve policy one through policy five. Dr. Lobby, second. Mr. Elkin, any discussion? Roll call. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Mr. Elkin? Yes. Dr. Lobby? Yes. Mr. Marlroy? Yes. Mr. Skate? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. Ms. Bowser? Yes. Number voting yes, seven. Number voting no, zero. Two absent. Motion carries. Uh, one thing under general to approve, and it's the approval of the solicitor for ASD. Need a motion and a second to approve Sorry. the general. Uh, Mr. Mulroy, second. Mr. Scaife, any discussion? Roll call. Mr. Elkin? Yes. Dr. Lobby? Yes. Mr. Mulroy? Yes. Mr. Scaife? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. Ms. Bowser? Yes. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Number voting yes, seven. Number voting no, zero. Two absent. Motion carries. Anything under other from the administration? No additional items. Anything under other that board members would like to bring up? Yeah, I'd like to talk about uh, the presentation that was given last week at uh, Dayton, <coughs> excuse me, Dayton Elementary as far as the HVAC system goes and the cost that they had associated with that. Are we going to go back to the original contractor who was just going to put in uh, like an air handling system to get a price from them as well? The comparison price with they, air conditioning? They originally provided that as an alternative. Okay. They had air, a standalone air, nothing with the heating. It was a little over $2 million just for air in the original okay. estimate. Oh, okay. Compared to the $2 million? 2.1, which included new heating system, air conditioning, lighting, the vestibule, okay. and various things. The first company didn't have all those items in. They had the, ve they had the vestibule. Um, I could do I could do comparison between the two and get it out to you. All. Yeah, if you could, I'd appreciate it. Thank yeah, the second one included uh, lighting and heating. Yeah, they were saying the lighting was overkill as it stands right now at Dayton. No, the electrical was overkill. Well, the electric was too, but I believe he the said classroom. the lighting was overkill as well. There was more light in the classrooms. Yeah, more than light than, than they needed. Need. Right. Classrooms, yeah. Okay. You go to LED, you can typically reduce the amount of lights <clears> that you have. Yeah be less expensive and it's a different type of light it's you know it's not a soft light it's more bright light yeah but they were saying the lighting that's there currently is too much lighting in the classroom okay that's great thanks anything else from board members do i have a motion and i just want to thank the board members for um your support i appreciate it thank you thank, thank you, you. I uh, need a motion and a second to adjourn. So Mr. Mulroy, second. Dr. Lobby, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Meeting adjourned. Thank you.